Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a method of creating objects like this in 3ds Max. So with traditional hard surface modeling techniques, something like this grip could be quite difficult to make and it's a, it's it's kind of an in-between object so it's neither a hard surface model nor is it really fully organic like a, a tree or um, a character or something like that. So we're going to use the open sub div stuff in 3ds Max which is really handy when it when you've got objects like this to create that are loads of curved surfaces going into each other and things kind of um, like if you look at these bits around here there's quite a strong crease along this line but then here the crease just kind of fades out um, so again it's quite hard to do that with traditional ways of using edge loops and turbo smooths and that kind of thing okay so I'm just going to start with a uh, cylinder I'm actually going to use 18 sides on this just because it'll make it a bit easier to pull it out So we'll take the top and the bottom off, let me just change the colour of this. And um, let's just pull it out to create the basic shape. That come up a bit. Okay, so that's the that's the general shape of this. Next I'll add in the, the, like the major curve, so the curve going around here and this angle up here. I'm going to ignore this top bit for the moment just to keep this video a bit shorter. You probably wouldn't need to model a lot of this anyway because um, certainly these inside bits you probably don't need to model them because they'll be attached to the gun. Uh, so to get the angle at the top, I'm just going to add in a loop, constrain to edges, and then I can tilt that back, which I think is about like that. Okay, let's get rid of these polys on the top now. Oops, constrain to edges off. And it kind of thins down a little bit at the top. So let's put that in. And then we just need the general shaping of it, which is a bit like that. Okay, so let's just put turbo smooth on that to have a look. Okay, that looks fine for the general shape. So what we need to do now is work out these where these finger grips are. That's going to be the thing that's most awkward to do on this. Just get rid of that. So first of all I just need to make um, some little areas for them. So the first thing, finger is going to go up there, this is going to be the middle one and then the third one down here. Okay, so that's going to be one finger, that's going to be another finger, and that's going to be another finger. Right, in order to sort of shape these backwards, I'm going to need a bit more geometry. So I've already got the geometry in there, that's fine. That one can come back. This one can. And this one can. Just take these at the top as well and they should be angled back a bit like that. And actually this one should be in line as well. More like that. Okay, so I want to create the shape of going round here. So let's just have a 
a line of geometry in there and what I want to do is to kind of go um, along here to here, down to here, to here and then across to here so that I create that shape. So I'll just connect some of them together for now. Okay, and the, the really nice thing about using this open sub div workflow is that you don't need to worry so much about things like engons. Well, you just don't need to worry so much about your edge flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these edges that I don't think I need. In fact, before I carry on, I'm just going to... A bit, bit of a mistake that I've used my cylinder the wrong way around. Um, doesn't matter, I'll just connect those together for now. I can always get rid of that later. And let's just delete half of this so that I've only got half of it to work on. Set. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of a load of these edges here as well because I don't want them messing up the back. So actually I think this is, is still in quads. One, two, three, four, four. Uh, there's a triangle there. So I'm just going to get rid of this as well. And that one. So this is, I think it's all in quads actually, but it wouldn't necessarily matter if it wasn't. Right now I just need to pull things in um, I'm going to just put my symmetry back on for this. This just makes it a bit easier to scale things in. So these just need to scale inwards. I'm sure I've got them all. Like that. So I'm just going to scale them out that way a bit as well. And pull them back. Okay, so that's my general shape done. I think that's everything I need. I just need to get this smooth now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a crease set modifier on. And then we're going to put the open subdiv modifier on as well. So you can see this open subdiv. I think you want at least four iterations on this. You can see that smoothing out. Um, what I want to do is to keep some creases along here and then kind of fade them out at the end there. So I can use my crease set to do that. So all I need to do is tell 3ds Max where I want to keep these hard lines. So it's all of these edges. And on the back. Let's make sure I've not got anything selected that I shouldn't. I don't think I have. Okay, and then once I've got the edges, so I want to keep these as like creased hard edges. Um, all I need to do is do create set like that. Uh, we can give this a name. So we can call it finger bits. And now all I have to do is so if I turn show end result back on, I can just tell it how much to keep these creased. So if I set this up to one, um, it'll really kind of crease those edges. And that's pretty much done. The one thing that I might want to do is back here, it kind of slowly fades out back in. So I'm not sure I want the crease there. I want the crease here. 
but I'm not sure I want it there. Um, so what I'll do is just deselect all this, so that I've just got those those sort of back uh, triangle bits, and I'll take them out of that crease set and put them into a different crease set. Uh, let's call this my back finger bits. Um, just make sure I've added those. I think they were in there anyway. Show end result. And now you can see I can kind of crease these bits at the back independently. So if I set that up to one, I get the strong creases. Probably want to set that down to about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 maybe. Maybe halfway between 0 0.25. Let's have another iteration on here. And that's done. Um, so I'm not sure the shape's completely perfect, but it's. if I'd spent a bit more time, it would have been. But the smoothing is pretty much exactly what we've got there. I actually think these creases are a little bit strong as well, so I'm going to set those down to about 0 0.4 and lower maybe, 0 0.3. That looks good. Okay, so that's it.